online I came across an article about 3D printing and it was such neat technology. I started reading more and more about it and then I came across a YouTube video where, um, where some individuals had actually printed, 3D printed a prosthetic hand for a little boy and I thought it was the, the cutest thing. They had interviewed the little boy and he said that he went from being the uh, different kid in class to being the special kid in class because there's a big push to make these things more uh, aesthetically pleasing. So people are um, putting Wolverine claws on this or making this look like an Iron Man hand as opposed to your you know traditional big bulky prosthesis. So that's a really neat aspect of it. So this is as far or as large as you can go. That's why in this case this hand is going to be printed in two different runs uh, because it doesn't fit in everything at once. And we have all the parts that you want to print here right now. And um, you can also measure them once you you can change the size and you can measure them because they have a grid right here which is a one centimeter grid. So basically what you have back here is a, uh, a spool of PLA plastic which is very strong plastic. It runs through here and then this is an extruder that heats up the plastic and melts the plastic and it puts down a thin two-dimensional layer. That layer hardens and then the printer comes back around and puts another two-dimensional layer. So what you're doing is you keep on putting uh, thin two-dimensional layers on top of each other until what you have is a 3D construct. These are body powered, meaning that these are patients that they do have the wrist but they don't have the fingers, okay? So the palm of the hand is going to go right here and this is going to be the form, just like that. When they flex the wrist, it's going to close the fingers and it's going to allow them to grasp. We can make any modifications on site, we can customize them, tailor it to the patient, and it's a more interactive experience um, also. Our goal is to help people. Um, this for us is about $35, so it's very, very cheap. Um, so really, we have no need at the moment to charge anything. A typical body powered prosthesis that we'd use in the past would run anywhere from three to five thousand dollars. So in the past we would use um, different uh, prosthetic companies to come in, evaluate the patient, they would assess the patient, they would um, typically cast the patient's residual limb and then they would um, uh, they would send that cast out to a company that would then fabricate the prosthesis. Sometimes it would come back and maybe it wouldn't fit properly, they'd have to send it back. So it was a very long process. It would typically take anywhere from two to three months to actually get the prosthesis for the patient. Now with a 3D printer, we can rapidly uh, print these things and the turnaround is roughly anywhere from a week to a week and a half. The hope is that um, in time we'll start to work on myoelectric prosthetics so that will give us even more functionality with the 3D printed um, uh, prosthetics that we're making here at Jacoby.